Google Plus emerged during a time when Facebook was firmly established as the dominant force in the social networking space. With millions of active users and an ever-expanding user base, Facebook had become the go-to platform for social interactions, sharing updates, and connecting with friends and family. Recognizing the need to compete in this rapidly evolving landscape, Google saw an opportunity to enter the social networking space and launched Google Plus. This is the story about rise and fall of Google Plus. Before we continue, please hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop. Your support means a lot to us. Google Plus aimed to differentiate itself from Facebook and other social platforms by introducing several unique features and innovations. One of the standout features was Circles, which allowed users to categorize their connections into different groups such as friends, family, colleagues, or acquaintances. This feature provided more control over privacy and sharing, enabling users to share content selectively with specific circles. Another key innovation was Hangouts, a video chat and messaging platform that allowed users to engage in group conversations with up to 10 people simultaneously. Hangouts were seen as a powerful tool for connecting users in a more personal and interactive way. Google Plus also introduced Sparks, a feature that aimed to provide users with personalized content recommendations based on their interests and preferences. This feature allowed users to discover and share articles, videos, and other media related to their specific areas of interest. Upon its launch, Google Plus generated significant buzz and excitement in the tech community. Tech enthusiasts and early adopters were intrigued by the platform's potential to disrupt the social networking landscape and provide a credible alternative to Facebook. Many users praised the intuitive interface, the clean design, and the innovative features that Google Plus brought to the table. The positive reviews, coupled with the strong brand recognition and user base of Google, contributed to rapid early adoption. Within a short period, Google Plus amassed millions of users, surpassing the 10 million mark within the first two weeks of its launch. The growth was fueled by the exclusivity factor, as Google Plus initially operated on an invitation-only basis, creating a sense of curiosity and demand among users. Overall, the birth of Google Plus was marked by a promising start, with the platform garnering positive reviews, attracting tech enthusiasts, and experiencing rapid user growth in its early stages. In an effort to expand the reach and influence of Google+, Google embarked on a strategic move to integrate the platform with its other popular services, such as YouTube and Gmail. This integration aimed to leverage the existing user base of these services and encourage their adoption of Google+. This integration aimed to leverage the existing user base of these services and encourage their adoption of Google+. The integration with YouTube allowed users to link their Google Plus profiles with their YouTube accounts, enabling them to share videos, leave comments, and interact with other users using their Google Plus identities. This move was seen as an attempt to unify Google's various products and create a more cohesive user experience across platforms. Similarly, the integration with Gmail brought Google Plus features into the email service. It allowed users to add Google Plus contacts to their Gmail circles, making it easier to share content and communicate with their connections directly from their email interface. The integration of Google Plus with other Google services, particularly through a unified account system, sparked controversies and raised privacy concerns among users. Google's decision to make Google Plus accounts mandatory for using certain services, such as YouTube, drew criticism from users who felt that their privacy was being compromised. The unified account system meant that users who wanted to use services like YouTube or Gmail were required to create a Google Plus profile, whether they wanted to actively participate in the social networking aspect or not. This mandatory integration received negative feedback from users who preferred to keep their social media presence separate from other online activities. Additionally, concerns were raised about the amount of personal information that Google was collecting and connecting across its various services through the unified account system. Users felt uneasy about the potential loss of control over their data and the increased risk of privacy breaches. The controversies and privacy concerns surrounding Google's unified account system and mandatory Google Plus integration contributed to a significant backlash from users. Many felt that their privacy was being compromised, and this resistance further fueled the growing skepticism towards Google Plus as a social networking platform. 
The integration efforts of Google Plus with other Google services created both opportunities and controversies. While it aimed to provide a seamless experience for users and leverage the existing user bases of popular services like YouTube and Gmail, the privacy concerns and negative feedback highlighted the challenges that arose from the mandatory integration and unified account system. Despite its promising start, Google Plus faced significant challenges in terms of user engagement and active usage when compared to established social media giants like Facebook and Twitter. While Google Plus managed to attract a substantial user base, retaining and engaging those users proved to be difficult. Facebook's dominance and the already established networks of friends and connections on the platform made it challenging for Google Plus to gain traction. Users found it more convenient and comfortable to stick with Facebook where their existing social circles were already established. Additionally, Twitter's real-time, public nature appealed to users seeking a different type of social experience. Google Plus struggled to differentiate itself and carve out a unique space within the highly competitive social media landscape. Google's shifting priorities and lack of a clear long-term strategy for Google Plus contributed to its struggles. The company seemed to prioritize other ventures and products, leaving Google Plus without a dedicated focus. This lack of direction led to a slower pace of innovation and development, failing to keep up with the rapidly evolving social media landscape. The departure of key executives including Vic Gandatra, who was instrumental in the development and promotion of Google+, had a significant impact on the platform's development. Their departures left a void in leadership and vision, further exacerbating the challenges faced by Google+. In 2018, Google Plus suffered a data breach incident that exposed deprivate user information of hundreds of thousands of users. The breach occurred due to a software bug that potentially allowed third-party developers to access user data that was not intended to be shared publicly. The data breach, along with the realization that Google Plus had low user engagement and limited impact in the social media space, prompted Google to announce the shutdown of the platform. The decision was influenced by factors such as the breach's impact on user trust, the challenges in maintaining and securing the platform, and the lack of a viable path forward to compete with other social media giants. Google's announcement to shut down Google Plus was met with mixed reactions, with some users expressing disappointment and others accepting the decision as the platform had failed to meet expectations. The struggles and decline of Google Plus were marked by challenges in user engagement and competition, a lack of focus and direction from Google, the departure of key executives, and a significant data breach incident. These factors ultimately led to Google's decision to shut down the platform as it faced insurmountable obstacles in maintaining user trust and staying competitive in the social media landscape. Google Plus's failure as a social networking platform provided several key lessons for the industry. Firstly, it underscored the importance of user trust. Users must have confidence in the platform's privacy and data security measures. Google's data breach incident eroded user trust, demonstrating the critical role that trust plays in the success or failure of a social media platform. Another lesson learned was the need for a clear value proposition. Google Plus struggled to differentiate itself from its competitors and articulate a unique value proposition that would attract and retain users. This highlighted the importance of clearly defining and communicating the benefits and unique features of a social media platform to capture users' attention. Additionally, continuous innovation is crucial in the fast-paced world of social media. Google Plus's lack of ongoing development and innovation contributed to its decline. This highlighted the need for social media platforms to consistently evolve, introduce new features, and adapt to changing user preferences to remain relevant and engaging. Following the failure of Google+, Google shifted its focus to other social media endeavors. Google Photos, a cloud-based photo storage and sharing service, emerged as one of the successful ventures. It offered users a seamless way to store, organize, and share their photos, capitalizing on Google's expertise in cloud technology. Another noteworthy project was Google Currents, a reimagined version of the Google Plus experience focused on professional communities and content sharing within organizations. Google Currents aimed to address specific communication needs within workplaces, positioning itself as a collaboration and knowledge sharing platform. 
These subsequent social media endeavors by Google reflected the lessons learned from Google Plus and sought to cater to more specific user needs, leveraging the company's strengths in data management. It had an impact on the social media landscape and influenced other platforms. Some features and design elements from Google Plus found their way into other social platforms. For example, the concept of circles introduced by Google Plus, which allowed users to categorize their connections, had an influence on subsequent social media platforms. Facebook later introduced similar features such as friend lists and groups, providing users with more control over their privacy and content sharing. Additionally, the emphasis on personalized content discovery through Sparks and Google Plus influenced the development of recommendation algorithms and personalized content feeds on platforms like Facebook and Twitter. The focus on tailoring content to users' interests became a common practice in the social media industry. While Google Plus may not have achieved the desired success, its impact on the social media landscape is evident in the features and design elements that have shaped subsequent platforms. The lessons learned from Google Plus's failure revolved around the importance of user trust, clear value proposition, and continuous innovation. Google's subsequent social media endeavors, such as Google Photos and Google Currents, reflected these lessons and aimed to cater to specific user needs. Furthermore, Google Plus's influence can be seen in the adoption of certain features and design elements by other social platforms, leaving a lasting legacy in the social media landscape. Google Plus, launched in 2011 with high expectations, aimed to challenge the dominance of Facebook in the social networking space. It introduced innovative features like Circles, Hangouts, and Sparks, attracting early positive reviews and rapid user growth. However, Google Plus faced numerous challenges that led to its eventual demise. The integration with other Google services, such as YouTube and Gmail, was intended to leverage existing user bases, but sparked controversies and privacy concerns. Additionally, Google Plus struggled to compete with the user engagement and established networks of Facebook and the real-time nature of Twitter. Google's lack of focus and shifting priorities, coupled with the departure of key executives, hindered the platform's development and strategic direction. A significant data breach incident in 2018 further eroded user trust and influenced Google's decision to shut down Google+. The rise and fall of Google Plus serve as a cautionary tale in the social media industry. It highlights the importance of user trust, clear value proposition, and continuous innovation for the success of a social media platform. Google Plus's failure demonstrates the challenges in challenging established players and the need for a well-defined strategy and differentiation. Despite its ultimate failure, Google Plus left a legacy in the social media landscape. Its features and design elements influenced other platforms and subsequent projects like Google Photos and Google Currents reflected lessons learned. The impact of Google Plus serves as a reminder of the ever-changing nature of social media and the necessity for platforms to evolve and meet users' needs. What were your impressions of the platform? Did you find value in its unique features? Let us know your perspective in as we continue to explore the dynamic world of social media. And don't forget to subscribe.